Testing one, two, testing. This is live on Periscope and Twitter. Hopefully everything is working correctly. Looks like streaming rate is going where it should be. And as of right now, no major problems being seen across much of the area, so we don't have too much to worry about where it comes to too much in the way of showers or thunderstorms out there. If you're just joining us, I'm setting up, getting ready to go. We'll be talking about weather here in just a little bit. But as of right now, things are, again, decently quiet across much of the area. And if you are just joining us, again, you can take a look at some of our webcams right here. This is, again, a good opportunity to learn more about what's going on. If you're just tuning in, this is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, live and direct on on Periscope and Twitter for this morning. And if you have the opportunity to take a look around and see what's going on here, we do have, again, the possibility of some more thunderstorms into the Mid-South as we go into the next several days. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Looks like we are live on Periscope and Twitter. Everything is recording. We're good and ready to go. It's almost 8.30, so we'll just go ahead and call it ready to go for this point in time. If you are just joining us, thank you very much. It is Tuesday morning, nearly 8.30, according to the clock floating above my head. If you'd like to know more about what's going on with the weather forecast, blue bar right here showing you again a little bit more about what the forecast is expected for mainly the Memphis metro area. We'll take a look at the rest of the Mid-South coming up here in just a little while. And information about where to find me on social media, all available here in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Also, again, available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South area. Let me take just one quick second here and invite everybody here to our Twitter feed and make certain that everybody knows a little bit more about what's going on for the Mid-South area. If you have any plans to get out and about today, it looks like it is going to be a good day for the possibility for a uh, good picnic in the park. And again, on the possibility for later on this week for the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there. Let me see. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Had to make certain everybody knew exactly a little bit more about what was going on and where so that everybody can join me right now for finding out more about the forecast. For those of you who are just joining us, thank you very much. We continue again to see a good start to the day where it comes to information on earthquakes. You're taking a look at our earthquake page from, well, not ours, but from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information just down the roadway from the University of Memphis. Looks like we have had one earthquake to talk about just inside the Missouri Boot Hill, and that one looks to be about a 1.6 that happened early this morning at about 5.43. So we did manage to get at least one earthquake in the mix. But beyond that, we're not seeing anything else in the New Madrid fault line area, which is definitely good news. More information about this, all you have to do is go to the... Uh Twitter page at the main page for the Center of Earthquake Research and Information. It's available at uh, memphis.edu slash CERI. Great opportunity again to learn more here. Should point out we're live and direct out and about in Memphis right now, getting again some of the nice screeching sounds of the tires of traffic of people on their way to work and of course a lot of humidity out there but fortunately we're in the shade so it's not too bad don't forget to check out our weather bug cameras it's all available at wreg.com slash webcams including the brand new and refurbished collierville square cam the mcginnis oil company camera this one just refurbished by our News Channel 3 crack engineering staff. So thank you guys uh, very much for doing that and a great opportunity again to uh, see a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South area there and of course much of the across the rest of the area as well. Uh, also around downtown Memphis. Some new cameras coming our way. We'll get you more about that coming up in just a little bit. Radar at this time not showing a lot of activity down toward the Gulf of Mexico. Yes, some showers drifting on shore from the Gulf around Mexico and just off the west coast of Florida. Beyond that, there's just really not that much going on at this time. National Weather Service in Memphis is keeping a very close eye on the possibility of maybe a few strong, call it borderline severe thunderstorms as we go into around the next couple of days, around Friday into Saturday. Doesn't look like much at this time, but again, it does seem to be that possibility. So outdoor activities Friday and Saturday, you're going to need to be paying attention for that. Let's go ahead and walk you through what's going on from the Weather Prediction Center. For today at noon, again, we see less chance of any rainfall in the Mid-South. A few stray showers it looks like they're throwing in for northern parts of Mississippi, and that's going to be about it for the rest of the afternoon into today. The main threat for everything is going to be all these thunderstorms that go on back into around the northern Plain states. It's their time of the year to get all that severe weather 
and stronger weather, and that's what we'll be seeing north of us, but not too much for the mid-south at this time. By tomorrow morning, mainly clear skies out there, showers and thunderstorms in and around the area, down to the south, up to the north, off to the east, but really not that much going on. Pardon me while some EMTs come on through here for just a second. Let's, let's be careful out there today. We're seeing again the possibility of showers and thunderstorms more numerous as we go toward Thursday. We'll put this into a loop motion so you can see what's going on again north of us up around the Canadian border, the Great Lakes. That's where we see all these thunderstorms rolling their way on through. And beyond that, we're just not getting too much of anything really happening for us until we get into around Thursday. That's going to be the best possibility of getting most of the activity in here. So what does that mean for the Mid-South area? It means that for today, we're going to be seeing very little in the form of precipitation from the National Weather Service forecast in Memphis. Again, temperatures for today, we may see a shower or a thunderstorm south of the metro area, but that's going to be about all that we wind up with and not really seeing much more than that. So south of I-40, that's going to be the best possibility of getting showers and thunderstorms out there. Now getting into tonight, low temperatures only back into around the mid-70s or so, and that's about going to be about all that we wind up with in the form of very mild conditions across much of the area, not much cooler than that, not only for tonight, but not anytime soon. Unfortunately, that's going to be about as good as our temperatures get across much of the area. Let's go ahead and see what's going on again for potential of rainfall, not expecting much of anything overnight. High temperatures tomorrow back in the lower to mid 90s. That's just the air temperature. Regular heat index numbers combine the temperature with the humidity. You get that feels like heat index. And this is what we're going to be looking for into tomorrow. Temperatures easily in the triple digits. So outdoors going to have to watch out for that. Showers and thunderstorms could be again across portions of the area. Doesn't look like a lot, but it does look like the possibility starting to sneak back into the forecast. Low temperatures on uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Uh, chance of showers and thunderstorms out there lingering. Low temperatures that night, Wednesday night into Thursday morning back in the mid-70s or so. Thursday, looking at high temperatures in the lower to mid-90s once again. A little lower than what we've seen. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case with the heat index. There's going to be plenty of humidity out there to get everybody very steamed up. Low temperatures Thursday night, again, mid Mid 70s, not much change there, and an isolated chance of showers and thunderstorms, most numerous back across the northwestern parts of Tennessee, the Boot Hill, and extreme northeastern Arkansas. Looks like about a 25% plus chance there, and that's going to be mainly about all that we see at that location. Let's go ahead and wander into the weekend and show you what we've got going on toward Friday. Again, temperatures very much on the warm side back around 90 with more chances of widespread showers and thunderstorms out there. Looks like about a 40 to 50 percent chance out across the Mid-South and that's what we're going to be seeing again the best potential for rainfall throughout the course of Friday. That's going to last right on into Friday night as we see again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there lingering right on into Saturday. High temperatures a little bit cooler sort of of back in the upper 80s to lower 90s and then for low temperatures Saturday night lows in the lower to mid 70s with that slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm lingering across the area. High temperatures on Sunday again going back into the mid to upper 80s to around the lower 90s and again that possibility of showers and thunderstorms most numerous down across areas south of I-40 into around portions of northern Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, down to the south of the Memphis metro area, and that's going to be about the main thing out there. Astronomically speaking, things are very cool to talk to talk about right now. Uh, the Juno probe, which has been orbiting Jupiter last night at about 8.55 mid-south time, dove right over the great red spot, that huge two to three size Earth sized storm on Jupiter went right over it. We're awaiting the data from NASA. It will be released in the next couple of days and I'm expecting some incredible views of the great red spot, hopefully. Uh, this information, courtesy of what comes to us from uh, spaceweather.com, great opportunity to get more information about what's going on out there in the solar system, including a lot of information about comets, solar flares, auroras, all that neat type of stuff that's all out there. So a great place to go to for that. When it comes to satellite predictions, again, we're just not seeing a lot, unfortunately, of anything really visible out there. There will be satellites that you can barely see, but again, the magnitude that you see in the brightness column here 
anything in the positive column that's dim and getting dimmer as you go down to about a 3.0. You need a negative number to get really bright on this. Cosmos 2058, a Russian leftover uh, satellite, will be over the Mid-South tonight, but it will be ver barely visible because of the fact that it's just going to be so dim and not very reflective out there. Now, you may be able to see an iridium flare or two starting tonight at about, uh, what time will this be? Uh, 8.26. Good opportunity to see more about this. The satellite will fade into view. It'll start reflecting sunlight more brightly. It'll get very bright, as you can see, right around 8.26 tonight. That's 24-hour time right there, so just subtract 12, and that'll give you the time frame. That right there is going to be the best opportunity to get uh, a view of the Iridium satellite. Again, it'll fade into view, it'll get very bright, and it'll fade back out again all within about maybe 15 to 20 seconds. So that's going to be about your best bet to be able to see this thing. And that's just one of the satellites that are available out there. So definitely want to think about uh, taking a look at that. Get your kids interested in astronomy. There's plenty of places to get that done here in the Mid-South area. Or just go outside on a nice clear night away from city lights, and you can see even more things like this. It's a good opportunity to learn more about what's in the skies out there, learn about science, about technology, all that neat stuff. It's all available, and it's just floating right over your head and visible at various points in time during the day or the evening. Much of what we're seeing again today is going to be very much on the sunny side. We're not getting a lot of anything in the way of major problems so far. Windy Country Club, very sunny with golf carts galore out and working at this time. And looks like traffic has started to dwindle a bit on St. Francis Cam on Germantown Parkway. So definitely good news on that. If you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather and the news and the sports of the Mid-South, go to WREG.com and then click on the weather section for more information about what to look for in and around the area. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Again, you can find the email address uh, going right down there in the red bar, email address is austin.onic at wreg.com or just locate me through this website right here. We'd love to have you along for the ride. And if there's anything you would like to see, please let us know. Go ahead and email us uh, information about what you would like to see on our weather overtime segments, and we will be glad to let it, everybody know about that and to put that on the air to keep you coming back to let us know what you would like to see. Live and direct from out and about in Memphis this morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more. Stay cool today. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest weather information. And we'll have more details on the forecast with Todd Demers on Live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim, your forecast later on tonight. And, of course, I'll be on social media all over the place. So stay tuned for more there. Thanks for joining me for today's exclusive video weather blog update, Weather Overtime.